Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss how to delete an element from an array. If you haven't watched my previous videos on arrays or if you haven't watched my video on insertion of array, then I request you please watch those videos. So let's get started. Before we move into the program, the let's understand theoretically, like what do you mean by deleting an array? De deleting an element in an array and how do you do that? What are the steps you need to follow in order to do that? Let's understand everything. For example, you are given an array. I think I'll draw a very small array. Okay, for example, this is the array. We have three, five, seven and nine. You want to delete an element. Let's say the element you want to do, uh, delete is five. So you want the output to be this way, three, seven, nine. All right. So this is the general overview of the program. Like this is what you want. Now, how do we get this? The first thing we need to do here is we need to search for the element. The first step is search. You have given the value of phi here. Now in this array, you need to search where is phi. If you find phi, then the second thing you need to do is you need to do the shifting of elements, shift elements, shifting of elements in the sense it is like this. If you have watched my previous video, you will have a better idea of this. For example, you found this number phi. So what you're going to do is you're going to shift this position to this place and this place to this place. So it will look something like this three, seven, and then here it will be nine and here there will be nothing. And after that, you need to print. You need to print this. This is the basic overview of the program and of course before you even search everything you need to take the inputs that is the first and the foremost thing so first you need to take the inputs then you need to search for the element then you need to shift the positions i know i, I think you know how to do this you know right using the for loop using the for loop you shift the places and then you print the elements after deletion okay so this is the procedure we need to follow in order to get this so now the main thing you need to know is how to search an element and then how to shift the elements i think you know how to print and how to take the input let me declare the main method and inside this we're going to declare the user input. So first enter the size of array. After that, n. No, I just forgot to take the scanner class. Declare the scanner class. Scanner SC equals new scanner. dot in int n equals sc dot next int after this we need to take we need to create an array int arr equals new int of the size n we've created an array and here let me put some comments input for array so for int i equals 0 i less than n i plus plus arr of i equals s e dot next int i am assuming that you guys know all these things if not, please do watch my previous videos and then come back to this video.
okay so here we have taken the input and print the values of array so for that for int i equals 0 i less than n i plus plus arr of i so what we simply did is we have taken the user input for I mean, we have taken the input for the size of array and then we've created an array and we've taken the input and we've printed the values. It's pretty much that much. It didn't. So here we need to, okay, let me just keep it like a del so that it would be very much easy for me to, you know, access that. See, I'm creating an element called as del. <laughs> I'm not creating an element. I'm creating a variable called as del where, uh, in which I'm going to give the value of the element which I want to delete. So here also I'll put a print statement. Enter the value you want to delete. And here I gave the value. I mean here we are taking in the user input. Now the next thing which we need to do is we need to search. So for that, first I'll write the for loop for int i equals zero i less than arr dot length i plus plus. Sorry, here I wrote four. So we are starting from the zeroth index and we are going till the array dot. We are, we are just iterating the whole array. And after that, what we are doing is if del equals arr of i. So what we are doing here is if any particular if the given element is equal to any element present in this particular array, then for int j equals i. Don't worry if you're not understanding this part. I'll explain this particular part again. So for int j equals i, j less than arr dot length j plus plus. So here we are iterating and then what we are doing is ARR of J equals ARR of J plus one. I told you that we're going to swap the numbers. So that is what is being done here. And after the whole thing is over, we're going to break. Why we're using break statement so that we get out of this particular loop. All right. You might be like, what happened here? So this particular thing. I'll explain this. So this is the code which I said that I'm going to explain. So the first thing which we've done is we have, let's take an array first. Again, three, five, seven, nine, and 11. Let's say we want to uh, delete this particular element seven. So here I've given the value of element as seven. So as soon as I give the value of element as seven, what this particular thing does is, this is going to iterate this for loop which we gave here. It is going to iterate through the whole array and it is going to search for this particular element. If the given element DEL is equal to, is equal to any element in ARR of I. So in this particular case, seven, this given element is equal to the element in this particular index. Wait, let me put the index in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here at index 2, we have this particular value. So we found the value. Then we are going inside the if statement. Here there is a for loop. For int j equals i. Here we found the value at i equals 2. So for int j equals i, so j will also become 2. Then j less than array dot length and j plus plus. So what happens is the iteration starts from 2. So it starts from here. 
and it goes on till here okay so this is what we understood now if we get inside the for loop here we have arr of j will be equal to arr of j plus 1 so so here arr of 2 will be equal to arr of 3 so whatever value is present in 3 will be shifted to 2 and whatever value is present in 4 will be shifted to 3 so this looks something like this here 3 will be like this 5 will be like this in place of 7 the value of 9 will be present and in place of 9 the value of 11 will be present and here there will be nothing present okay and here we are using the break statement so that we get from the, uh, we also gave an for loop above right so uh, this for loop is there right so in order to get out from this for loop we are using the statement break or else it will be you know going on in that way so well coming back to the program now the next thing which we need to do here is we need to print the array print array so here as you know for int i equals 0 i less than n i plus plus system of dot print l n a r r of i so we are printing all the elements in the array now let's run this particular program you could see here it is asking enter the size of array so it is 5 and here we are we need to enter the elements of the array so 3 5 7 9 and 11 after this we need to enter the value which we want to delete that is 7 so here it is showing array index out of bound exception so what does this mean if you look at this particular thing here after printing i told you that uh, after deleting this gets printed in here there will be an empty value so what the mistake which we have done here is here you could see this arr dot length so what that does is it iterates through the whole array i mean it iterates each and every element and while we are printing we have printed each and every element so here there is no element so that is why it is shown so that is why this got printed so in order to eliminate this thing what we need to do is we need to only print till here so for that here instead of array dot length we need to put array dot length minus one so that this won't be printed i hope you got this here instead of array dot length i'm putting array dot length minus one and let's see what happens if we run right now here again it is asking enter the size of array so it's 5 and then 3 5 7 9 and 11 and enter the element you want to delete so it is 7 you could see 3 5 9 11 and 11 so this element got deleted and all the values got printed. I hope the code and the concept of this video is very much clear. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next one.